morning everyone welcome back to cactus cafe my name is anna so this morning i woke up and it is a little bit chilly it is um in the 50s early in the morning and at night as well although the morning temperature it still it still goes up to about 80 degrees so it is fall but fall here in las vegas is very short and pretty soon the winter temperature will start coming so i think it is time for me to prepare my greenhouse for the winter so let me just step back this is my greenhouse so i only use this greenhouse during the winter so my plants or my cactus stay there inside for about five months in the winter um, around november to march depending on how uh, cold or how warm it has become so they only stay there during the winter and the rest of the year my greenhouse is just storage house as you can see right now excuse the mess but yeah it's a storage house for now but since the temperature right here is getting cooler i think it is time for me to clean this up so i have to obviously remove everything inside and then i also have to wash everything inside and out as um, it is dusty and then i would have to bubble wrap it so the process of cleaning up my greenhouse and moving everything inside would um, obviously take days for me to complete so what i'm going to do is i'll start filming as early as now so you can see how it looks before everything is inside the greenhouse but i do have a little bit of a problem because in the previous years when i had that greenhouse i only had this three racks right here that fit inside my greenhouse and it was already crammed so originally i have this three tier another three tier and this tall one here those are the only racks that fill that would fit inside my greenhouse but then this spring and summer of this year i did did a lot of repotting and most of my plants went to the next pot size up as you can see previously most of them were just in four inch pots but now most of my cactus have been have grown so they've moved to the next pot size up so i have more bigger pots this year and not only that i did a lot of propagating you know dividing and separating them and i also bought a few new plants and i also got some plants from friends and family so hence i do not have only these three racks now but other than this i also have these guys over here so a little bit of everything aloe cactus succulents and then this is a new rack so as you can see it is filled up as well and then i also have these guys right here and there's more down there and this way there's more cactus plants in here and then i also have these hanging pots that i did not have last year and this and also these guys plus i have a few more in my front porch a few more pots there that um aloe pots that i also need to get inside my greenhouse i washed it inside and out so in the meantime that i'm waiting for it to dry up i have this rack to assemble inside the greenhouse and then i also have to bubble wrap the sides of the greenhouse okay so i have bubble wrapped inside of the greenhouse 
I have built this rack so as for now I am calling it a day So I've completely bubble wrapped the entire greenhouse and I've also assembled this rack. So in the meantime, I've placed my seedlings here for now um, until I finish the other racks and then um, I'll be arranging everything in order. Okay, so I'm uh, starting to clear out one rack. So we're doing the tall rack first. So we took out all of the pots on it and then i'm gonna give this a good cleaning and put it inside the greenhouse These are my helper guys. They're doing a very, very good job. Oops. Now I have all three racks inside my greenhouse and I still have a spot here so I'll go find or look for a rack that I can fit in this tiny space in here. Every bit of space counts, guys. Every bit of space counts. Okay, I brought more plants inside my greenhouse. But I already know that not everything is going to fit inside. So I would have to choose wisely. This uh, is only 50% of my collection. As you can see, I still have more plants in this rack. And that rack is still full. And I still have those guys in there. And I still have my hanging basket. So it's a matter of choosing which ones will go in my greenhouse and which ones has to just bear the cold weather <laughs> but i have to be fast guys because the forecast in the next three days our temperature is going to drop in the 30 degrees fahrenheit range so that is cold for these plants the cactus and the succulent so i have to move fast and bring them all inside my seedlings um so as you can see they're starting to turn purple and that's not because of the sun because it's in a shady position in here so that is due to cold weather so at night time our temperatures are dropping to like high 40 degrees fahrenheit now and it's too cold for the seedlings so i have to move my seedlings inside the house hi guys welcome back to day number i don't remember how many days i've been working on this greenhouse already um it's been almost a week so i spent a few hours a day organizing my greenhouse and right now i'm looking at this rack that i use so this is the first time i'm using this rack this year and it's a deeper rack than what i used before so i'm just trying to study the uh sun pattern or the sun direction so i'm trying to see which ones get sun and which one do not and making plans on what to put so as i can see right now the sun goes as deep as the second um, row of pots but the ones at the very back they don't get any light at all in the meantime i put all my crested cactus there at the back i am thinking that even though they eat till late, 
it's not as evident since they're crested <laughs> so um that's what i'm doing right now so i'm trying to see the areas where it gets sun and areas which do not get as much sun and trying to figure out how to position my pots good morning everyone so i finally did it i moved um a lot of my plants inside my greenhouse but like i expected i wasn't able to fit in everything inside so many stayed outside but these are the lucky ones who were able to get the first class accommodation that i can give them during the winter so this guys made it to the list and they are the ones that um, I've selected to stay inside the greenhouse. So as you can see, it is very packed. Like every bit of corner has a plant or a pot in it. And I even have hanging baskets like um, on those hooks. My epiphytic cactus hangs on them. I just took them down for now so that you can see the inside of the greenhouse and this is the only spot i have to stand inside my greenhouse so this is the only spot or open space left so this is like um a jungle inside my greenhouse and i will show you later the plants that are that are outside the hardier plants i left them outside and I'm also doing a setup in my garage because I really couldn't fit in everything in here. So I decided to do a setup in my garage as well. And here are the ones that did not make the cut and they just have to stay here outside and overwinter outside in my backyard. So um, all the Apontias, uh, Trichocereus and a few hardy mammillarias will have to stay outside here for the winter. Um, I know these guys are hardy so they can withstand the freezing temperatures. There's my San Pedro cactus that is winter hardy as well. And um, although this section is not done, like I said, I'm preparing something in the garage so I might move some of these in the garage like i know this succulent planter won't be able to take the freezing temperatures so pretty soon i would have to move them um somewhere and um, this section is also protected by this cover just in case it rains or snows it won't get wet at least not direct rain yes we do get snow occasional snow here in nevada and um, it also rains a lot during winter so we get hail as well during the winter time so that's why i decided to put this rack in here where there is uh, some sort of a cover just in case it does rains or snows As for my mini desert garden, this is the first time that it will be exposed in to winter. So, good luck, guys. <laughs> I hope I chose the right plants that can withstand the winter time as well. And excuse all the leaves, the dead leaves that are in it. As uh, I show you here, our neighbor has a very large tree and this is a deciduous tree meaning that um, during winter it will lose all its leaves and it will fall down on my garden <laughs> but that's okay so i'll just wait until that tree is all bare and I'll st that's when i'll start cleaning up this section i have these two cacti that has been inside my greenhouse for three days now they've they're one of the first ones that i placed inside However, I think they are getting too cold despite being inside the greenhouse. If you can see, the edges are turning purple. So this is a 
Poleskia Chichipe, if that's how you say it. So I think this one is ready to be moved inside the house where it is warmer. And also this is um, Ming Ping. The Sirius Validus Monstros. So this is a main thing. And the tips have also started turning purple. And every year, this one I know is not cold hardy. Because every year I do put this inside my house. But I am pushing it to its limit before I put them inside the house. So it should be green like the base. But then um, it has gotten too cold for them. While we're still having a mild weather, um, our night temperature is at mid 40s, but that is already too cold for these guys. Even um, some of my seedlings are starting to turn purple, so they also have to go inside the house. There is still a lot more work to be done. So I still have to repot a lot of my cactus, especially the new haul that I did. I just did a plant, fall plant haul video and I still need to repot those plants. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up on the screen. And um, like this one, Mamillaria elongata still have a lot of seed pods attached to it. So I still have to clean that up. And so if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And to my subscribers, thank you so much. I hope you have that bell notification clicked so you know right away whenever I upload new videos. And for those who are new to this channel, if you like succulents, specifically cactus, aloes, and haworthias, please do consider subscribing to my channel and join me in my journey of growing them in a desert environment until my next video guys bye and cheers